In this video I'd like to talk about Allah and how merciful He is. I would like to start first by saying Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. The Quran tells us in chapter 4 verse 125 that Allah is in fact the same God of Abraham that Christians and Jews believe in. He is also the God of Jesus found in the Quran chapter 5 verse 117. In a hadith Qudsi, which is a hadith narrated by the Prophet Muhammad in which he describes to us what Allah said to him, it says, on the authority of Abu Huraira, who said that the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, when Allah decreed the creation, he pledged for himself, to himself, by writing in his book, which is laid down with him, my mercy prevails over my wrath. And this hadith was narrated by Muslim and al-Bukhari. Allah is also so gracious and merciful that He even turns our evil deeds into good deeds, according to the Quran, chapter 25, verse 70. Indeed, Allah is called Al-Wadud in the Arabic language, which means the most loving. He is also called Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, as I have already mentioned, which means the most gracious, the most merciful. Allah is also a close and personal God. He comes in between a, a man and his heart, according to the Quran, chapter 8, verse 24. Also, Allah says in the Quran, chapter 58, verse 7, He is with you wherever you are in this world. <clears throat> also, another hadith on the authority of Abu Huraira, who said that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Allah, Allah the Almighty, said, quote, I am as my servant expects me to be. I am with him when he makes mention of me. If he makes mention of me to himself, I make mention of him to myself. And if he makes mention of me in an assembly, I make mention of him in an assembly better than it. And if he draws near to me an arm's length, I draw near to him a fathom's length. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him at speed. The Quran also says in chapter 27, verse 62, <clears throat> Allah listens to the distressed. The Quran says in chapter 19, verse 96, Allah loves the righteous. And He also loves those who are just. The Quran, chapter 60, verse 8. On, on the authority of Anas, who said that I heard the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, peace be upon him, say, Allah the Almighty said, O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, and were you to then ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. O son of Adam, were you to come to me with sins nearly as great as the earth, and were you then to face me, ascribing no partner to me, no equal in authority, I would bring you forgiveness nearly as great as it. This is a hadith narrated by At-Tirmidhi. On the authority of At-Tirmidhi, its chain is sahih or sound and authentic. So we see here clearly time and time again from the Quran and the authentic hadith from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that Allah indeed is a God of mercy, of grace, of love and forgiveness. And he, his reward is far greater than we could ever expect. So I'd just like to thank you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you for making me a Muslim. Thank you for giving me the gift of life today and leading me to the path of salvation, which is your religion of Islam. I love you. Thank you so much, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for all the goodness, all the blessings, all the grace, the mercy, the forgiveness, the guidance you've given me. Please, Almighty Allah, the God of Abraham, please guide us all to your truth. Show us the wisdom of your holy Quran and the hadith of your Prophet Muhammad. Show the world the truth of your religion of Islam, especially in this time, Lord, since 9-11, when the world hates your religion, when the world hates your Muslims and dis misunderstands your Quran and is afraid of Islam in general. Show the world your truth, Allah, and save us and make us all Muslims and give us salvation, paradise on the Day of Judgment. Ameen. Subhanaka wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and blessings of Almighty God Allah, the God of Jesus, the God of Muhammad be upon you. Ameen.